guys good morning welcome to today's video happy Saturday I hope you all had a wonderful week uh, today I'm going to ride the mountain bike going back to Waldo State Park and try at it again this time though I do have a I purchased elbow pads and knee pads so hopefully that will help if I did if I do end up crashing um, Hopefully that will help with any pain that I feel after crashing. So uh, that's what I'll be doing today. Um, and so, oh yeah, kind of cold out here, about in the 40s right now. You could probably see my, my breath, um, but it is pretty cold and it's foggy. It's been kind of like that um, in the past couple of mornings. So um, hopefully it does... Um, fare out a little bit better later on so that I can uh, can see the trails. Uh, unfortunately, there's some moisture on the on the driveway and on the uh, vegeta on the grass here, so that could mean that if the trail is going to be wet. Um, the dirt parts are going to be running slower, and then we're going to have some slippery rocks. So uh, cross our fingers that um, everything goes well. All right, see you then. So I'm here out on a trail now, and uh, unfortunately, I forgot the housing for my uh, for the camera. So I can't show you guys what the ride is going to look like. Um, I did come prepared. I have the shoulder pads, and I also have knee pads, and uh, hopefully that will help if I ever have to break my fall or anything. Um, that would, you know, hopefully lessen the impact. Um, or the trail is wet. As you can see, uh, some of the roots are still wet and slippery, so I got to remember to go super easy. Not that I wasn't going to go easy anyway, but I got to definitely remember that I need to go easy, easy today so that I don't uh, crash and burn. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys again. Sorry if I can't show you the ride, but um, I'll give you the play-by-play. -play. So this is the section where I... Uh, crashed last time so i'm going to try to put the camera on the other direction so you guys can see hopefully i'm going to attempt it again and really it was just more of just me being afraid last time so i'm gonna to try to go at it again all right a lot better this time around i got through it Let's keep going. Made a wrong turn, I'm gonna turn around. But guys, I wish I could show you um, what I've been able to accomplish here. Uh, I was able to go over those rock walls that kind of, I did a little bit of a wheelie unintentionally, um, scared me a little bit. Darn, I was, I'm kind of bummed that I can't show you, but I'm feeling like I'm getting my confidence back and I'm definitely pretty warm now. So I think I overdressed for today. I am very pleased with my uh, progress for today. I know I only did about three miles, but the single track, skills have definitely improved and i think it's because i just wanted to i just needed to trust my body i i think i i got through it and i'm really uh proud of myself for going getting through the single track i did fall i did i did end up falling but um it was actually on soft ground and uh thankfully for with these uh with the elbow pads and knee pads uh they seem to have really helped with that blow but it wasn't bad at all and I, I took a corner too close, I guess, and or too tight. And um, anyway, that that did it. But the trail that I took, the second trail 
um, which is part of what they call Where's Waldo and Daffy, seems to have less rocks to it. Um, I did have to go through some rocky parts, but and some branches or parts of trees that have fallen and small trees and I got through it just fine and I was really happy with myself and um, yeah I guess I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm almost into an hour of my ride so I think what I'm going to do is go head back up, uh, take the fire road, head back up and then head out. But I just wanted to, to show you guys the view that I have here. Um, I got the, the bike propped up behind me and uh, I used a little twig trick to, to get it to stand. But man, it is absolutely peaceful and beautiful and scenic out here.